I don't feel any real uh, sense of being. I feel like I'm looking at something that changed and ruined my life as far as uh, that part of my life with my daughter. The series of crimes, some cases leave an indelible mark on the collective consciousness. This is the chilling tale of the murder of Laura Burke. Join us in the video as we delve deep into the dark case of Laura Burke's murder, seeking answers, examining the evidence, and shedding light on the sinister forces that tried to end her forever. Lauren Burke, a promising life cut short. An 18-year-old freshman at Auburn University named Lauren Burke was murdered on March 4, 2008. Lauren Ashley Burke was born in Georgia, and she graduated from Walton High School, after which she attended Auburn University. There she studied graphic design and art. She was an excellent student in college and always had cheerful behavior. She was a vibrant and ambitious young woman who possessed an infectious zest for life and an unwavering dedication to her aspirations, aspiring to make a mark in the world through her studies and artistic talents. She was so much into photography and marketing and wanted to build a career in that, but destiny had some other plans for her. She was kidnapped by a U.S. military veteran, Courtney Lockhart. This person killed her brutally. She was dishonorably discharged on the road and was forced to be naked. It was such a brutal murder. Lauren was severely injured and completely naked when she was left on the Alabama state route by the kidnapper. She was still conscious and was able to give information about the killer and other details and also inform the police and law enforcement that the attacker has her ID through which they can track the culprit. After a few hours, she was dead at a nearby hospital due to severe injuries. The crime unveiled. One evening after coming back from meeting her boyfriend, Lauren was heading to the university library to study with her friend and prepare for her upcoming exams. She didn't know what was going to happen to her in the next few hours. At around 8 p.m. that day, the killer Lockhart confronted her and was pointing his revolver towards her, asking her to get inside the car. She was frightened and didn't have any other option other than to get inside the car. Lauren pleaded a lot and even gave him cash that she had for him to leave her free. During the investigation, it came to notice that Lockhart was there on the campus throughout the day looking for someone who he could rob. Lauren was abducted and the killer was still holding her at gunpoint while driving with the other hand on the steering. During the ride, she was asked to take off her clothes and Lauren did all this because she was so scared of him. During the interrogation, Lockhart said that he didn't have any idea to rape her or sexually abuse her. He asked her to undress to prevent her from doing anything to escape. They drove for almost 30 minutes, and in that time, Lockhart was telling Lauren about his misfortunes and how he is jobless and struggling. During the investigation, Lockhart told all about the conversations they had during this 30-minute ride. Lauren tried to have a calm conversation with him and even told him that she can help him find a job to which Lockhart disagreed, saying he didn't want a job. Lauren even got two phone calls in between. One was from her boyfriend and the other was from her friend. She was allowed to take the calls, but was asked to not tell the truth, but rather make up some story. The situation was getting worse, and Lockhart was getting frustrated. Seeing this, Lauren didn't have any other option. She opened the passenger door and was trying to jump out of the car when Lockhart shot her. During the court proceedings, Lockhart claimed that the shot was unintentional. The reason for Lauren's death was the bullet that entered through the back of her left shoulder which affected both of her lungs. The injuries caused by falling from the vehicle were also severe. Lockhart left Lauren on the road when she was still struggling. She was fully naked and had only her socks. She was covered in mud and was waving for help. Someone came to help her and immediately took her to the East Alabama Medical Center, but later she was declared dead. The doctors who treated her claimed that there was serious loss of blood due to the gunshot, which is the major cause of death. After the incident, Lockhart drew around in Lauren's car and was using her credit card. After some time, he burnt her car in order to destroy all the evidence, but he took her credit card with him, which helped the investigation team to track him. After spending some time in Georgia, he later returned to Alabama. Investigation and arrest. The police got the first call from Auburn University about a car on fire. They reached the location and the fire was extinguished, and during the search, a bullet was found which gave them the idea that there was something not right about this whole incident. From the registration number, 
They collected all the infos and contacted Lauren's father, who was clueless about what was really happening. He tried calling his daughter, but no response was there. And later, he came to Auburn to identify his daughter's body. Law enforcement agencies swiftly initiated an intensive investigation to uncover the truth behind Lauren Burke's murder. Forensic experts meticulously combed through the crime scene, gathering evidence and analyzing every possible lead. Interviews with friends, family, and acquaintances were conducted to shed light on Lauren's relationships and any potential motives. Aftermath After three days, Lockhart was caught by the police for overspeeding. When they got suspicious about him, they asked him to get out of the car to which he disagreed and drove away, leading to a police chase. After a series of dramatic chases and an officer being injured, Lockhart was caught and handcuffed. The police got some of Lauren's belongings, and after a lot of questioning, he confessed that he is the one who murdered Lauren Burke. During the investigation, the police also found out about the other crimes he committed. Lockhart was charged with robbery, murder, kidnapping, and attempt to rape. The court trial on this case began in November 2010. The prosecution provided evidence proving many of the past crimes done by him and also said that this particular one was obviously intentional. The defense lawyers argued that Lockhart was going through mental illness and the incident that happened with Lauren was due to this. They claimed that all that happened was by accident. After long deliberation and analysis of the evidence, the court declared Lockhart guilty of robbery, kidnapping, and murder. The charges of attempt to rape were removed because of the lack of evidence to prove that. He was sentenced to death by a lethal injection by Judge Walker for the heinous and cruel crime that he did. His past crimes and negative conduct during the military service was the main reason to move his punishment from life in prison to the death penalty. After the death sentence, Lockhart appeared in front of the Alabama Court of Criminal Appeals, but later the court denied his case for a rehearing. Next, the Supreme Court also denied his case leading to no other way. He filed a Rule 32 petition challenging the death sentence. The murder of Lauren Burke was a tragic and senseless act that forever changed the lives of her loved ones. After her death, her parents filed a claim against Auburn University. It was asking them to re-establish the police force inside the campus and to strengthen their security system in order to prevent more such mishaps. They claimed that the main reason for the lack of a security force was the merger between its police force and the city police force. They also expressed their views regarding the plea presented by Lockhart. They said that he didn't give their daughter a second chance, so he also doesn't deserve to get one. An incident like this to a girl who got kidnapped from her university spread out like wildfire. Her murder remains etched in the collective memory as a horrific crime that robbed a young woman of her promising future and left people in shock and sorrow. People were shocked about this incident and were not really able to process the whole thing. Her classmates and other university students got really scared and concerned for their safety inside the campus after this cruel incident. Auburn University understood the intensity of the incident and increased the security measures and ensured no such incidents happen again. The death of Lauren Burke was truly a heartbreaking incident. The life of a girl who had many dreams was cut short. Drop down your comments on this video. We'll see you all with another video soon.